From ancient civilizations gazing up at the night sky to modern-day scientists sending rovers to its surface, Mars has always held a special place in our imagination. It's a planet that beckons us, a rusty red enigma whispering tales of cosmic wonders yet to be uncovered. And today, we're going to journey across millions of miles to explore some of its most fascinating secrets. These 10 facts will forever change the way you think about the red planet. We start our Martian adventure by scaling the heights of Olympus Mons, a volcano so massive it could swallow Mount Everest whole. Olympus Mons is an extinct shield volcano, a gentle giant compared to the explosive volcanoes we have here on Earth. It reaches a staggering 13.6 miles high, nearly three times taller than Mount Everest. To put that in perspective, if you were standing at the base of Olympus Mons, its peak would be hidden by the curvature of Mars itself. Imagine the view from up there. You'd be able to see for thousands of miles across the Martian landscape, a vista no human has ever laid eyes on. And because of Mars's low gravity, it's believed that climbing Olympus Mons would be surprisingly easier than conquering Everest. Just like our own planet, Mars experiences distinct seasons, thanks to its tilted axis of rotation. But that's where the similarities end, because Martian seasons are a story of extremes. Mars's orbit around the Sun is significantly more elliptical than Earth's, meaning it's closer to the Sun at some points and farther away at others. This orbital eccentricity, combined with its axial tilt, creates some pretty wild seasonal swings. In the Martian Northern Hemisphere, summers are long and cool, while winters are short and mild. But down south, it's a different story altogether. Southern summers are short and hot, while winters are long and frigid. So if you're planning a trip to Mars, you'd better pack accordingly. Here on Earth, we complain about a little wind and dust, but trust me, it's nothing compared to the dust storms on Mars. These aren't your average dust devils kicking up in the desert. We're talking massive, planet-encompassing storms that can engulf Mars for months on end. Imagine the sky turning a hazy red as billions of tons of dust are whipped up into the atmosphere, blotting out the sun and casting the planet into a perpetual twilight. These dust storms are so powerful, they can even be seen from Earth with a good telescope. Scientists believe they're driven by the sun's heat, which creates temperature differences in the thin Martian atmosphere, leading to powerful winds. Chapter 4. Phobos and Deimos The Martian Moons That Shouldn't Exist These two enigmatic celestial bodies have puzzled scientists for decades. Mars may be known as the Red Planet, but it's not alone in its journey around the sun. Accompanying it are two tiny, mysterious moons, that have sparked curiosity and debate. It's got two tiny companions, Phobos and Deimos, named after the Greek gods of fear and panic. These names are fitting, given the eerie and unusual nature of these moons. But unlike our own majestic moon, these two are more like cosmic potatoes, small and irregularly shaped. Their surfaces are covered in craters and grooves, giving them a rugged appearance. Phobos, the larger of the two, is only about 14 miles across, while Deimos is a mere 8 miles wide. Despite their small size, they hold significant scientific interest. Their odd shapes have led scientists to believe that they might not be moons at all, but rather, captured asteroids, snagged by Mars gravity billions of years ago. This theory suggests that they originated from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Phobos is on a collision course with Mars. Its orbit is gradually decaying, bringing it closer to the planet with each passing year. In about 50 million years, it's going to either crash into the planet or be torn apart by its gravity, creating a temporary ring system. This dramatic event will transform the Martian sky, offering a spectacular view for any future explorers or inhabitants. The potential ring system around Mars would be a fleeting but magnificent sight, reminiscent of Saturn's rings, though much shorter-lived. This possibility adds another layer of intrigue to the already fascinating story of Phobos and Deimos. As we continue to explore and study these enigmatic moons, we may uncover more secrets about their origins and their future. The story of Phobos and Deimos is far from over. 
and each new discovery brings us closer to understanding these mysterious Martian companions. Chapter 5 Ancient Rivers and Lost Lakes The Search for Martian Life For decades, scientists have wondered if Mars, once a warm and wet planet, could have harbored life. And as we've explored its surface, we've uncovered tantalizing clues that suggest it might have. All across the Martian landscape, we see the telltale signs of ancient water flows, vast networks of dried up river valleys, canyons carved by raging floods, and sedimentary deposits that could only have formed in the presence of liquid water. We've even found evidence of ancient lake beds, some of which may have persisted for millions of years. While we haven't found definitive proof of past or present life on Mars, these discoveries fuel our curiosity and give us hope that we might not be alone in the universe. Chapter 6. Valles Marineris A Grand Canyon on Steroids Forget the Grand Canyon, folks. Mars is home to a canyon so grand, it would make Arizona's natural wonder look like a ditch. I'm talking about Valles Marineris, a system of canyons that stretches for over 2,500 miles across the Martian surface. That's roughly the distance from New York City to Los Angeles. At some points, Valles Marineris plunges over four miles deep, dwarfing the Grand Canyon's measly mile-deep chasm. Scientists believe it was created by a combination of tectonic activity and erosion. Imagine the ground literally ripping apart as the Martian crust stretched and cracked, followed by billions of years of wind and water carving out its majestic features. Chapter 7 a breathtaking view, but don't forget your oxygen mask. If you're dreaming of one day strolling across the Martian surface, you'd better get used to wearing a spacesuit. And not just any spacesuit, one with a really, really good oxygen supply. That's because the Martian atmosphere is incredibly thin, about 100 times thinner than Earth's. This thin atmosphere also means that Mars can't hold on to much heat. While the planet can get surprisingly warm during the day, Reaching up to 70 degrees Fahrenheit at the equator, temperatures plummet at night, often dropping below minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, you'll need that spacesuit. But hey, at least you'll have a clear view of the stars, unobstructed by any pesky air molecules. Chapter 8 A Martian Day in the Life 24 hours and 39 minutes If you're planning on moving to Mars one day, you'll be happy to know that a Martian day or Sol, is remarkably close to an Earth day. A single Sol on Mars lasts 24 hours, 39 minutes, and 35 seconds, just a tad longer than our own 24-hour rotation. So you could keep your Earth clocks and adjust to the Martian schedule without too much trouble, right? Well, maybe. While the length of a Martian day might not throw you off too much, everything else about living on Mars would be drastically different. From the lower gravity to the lack of breathable air, life on Mars would be a constant adventure, to say the least. Chapter 9. Low Gravity Fun Leaping like an Olympian on Mars Ever dreamed of dunking a basketball like Michael Jordan or leaping tall buildings in a single bound? Well, on Mars, your dreams of superhuman athleticism just might come true. Imagine being able to jump three times higher than you can on Earth, effortlessly soaring through the thin Martian air. Due to its lower mass and density, Mars has significantly weaker gravity than Earth, about 38% to be precise. This reduced gravity opens up a world of possibilities for physical activities and sports. This means that if you weigh 200 pounds on Earth, you'd weigh a mere 76 pounds on Mars. Imagine the ease with which you could move around, carrying heavy equipment, or even just going for a run. That's right, you could practically float like a feather. The sensation of weightlessness would be exhilarating, almost like being in a constant state of free fall. While low gravity might sound like fun at first, it would take a toll on your body in the long run. The human body is incredibly adaptable, but it has its limits. Our bones, muscles, and cardiovascular systems have all evolved to function under Earth's gravity. 
and they rely on that constant force to maintain their strength and integrity. Prolonged exposure to low gravity can lead to muscle and bone loss, as well as other health issues. Without the regular stress of Earth's gravity, bones can become brittle and muscles can atrophy. But hey, who knows? Maybe future Martian colonists will develop their own unique forms of exercise and recreation to stay fit in their lightweight environment. Perhaps they'll invent new sports that take advantage of the low gravity, creating a whole new realm of athletic competition. The challenges of living on Mars will undoubtedly inspire innovation and creativity, leading to solutions that we can't even imagine today. So while the idea of leaping like an Olympian on Mars is thrilling, it also comes with its own set of challenges and opportunities for human ingenuity. Chapter 10. Polar Ice Caps Martian Snow Cones Anyone. Just like Earth, Mars has polar ice caps that grow and shrink with the seasons. These ice caps are a fascinating feature of the Red Planet, showcasing the dynamic nature of its climate and environment. But unlike our planet's ice caps, which are made entirely of water ice, Mars's polar caps are a bit more exotic. They offer a unique glimpse into the Martian atmosphere and its interactions with the surface. They're composed of both water ice and frozen carbon dioxide, also known as dry ice. This combination creates a strikingly different landscape compared to Earth's polar regions. Imagine that, a giant frozen cocktail of water and dry ice stretching for thousands of miles. The sheer scale of these ice caps is truly awe-inspiring, covering vast areas of the Martian surface. During the Martian winter, these ice caps can grow to cover a significant portion of the planet's surface. The temperatures plummet, and the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere freezes, adding to the ice cap's mass. But as spring arrives and temperatures rise, the dry ice sublimates, or turns directly from a solid to a gas, creating dramatic seasonal changes. This process is quite different from what we see on Earth, where ice typically melts into liquid water before evaporating. These seasonal changes in the polar ice caps are responsible for some of the most dynamic weather patterns on Mars, including those massive dust storms we talked about earlier. The sublimation of dry ice can lead to significant atmospheric pressure changes, driving winds and creating turbulent weather conditions. This interplay between the ice caps and the Martian atmosphere is a key factor in understanding the planet's climate and weather systems. Have you ever wondered what would happen if a human fell into Mars? Check out this video to find out.